Well, we get many inquiries through social media about what we do and how we manage the deer populations that we're involved with. And we do this professionally. And um, my, my way of doing it is what was born out of seeing people in the past do things, try things, and what we've tried ourselves over the last 20, 25 years. So, for example, this is an established piece of ground. Um, it was originally a plantation, but it, it was too wet and a lot of the trees failed badly on it. So it's ended up being a wonderful piece of scrubland. Next to that is a little bit of a plantation, then it goes off into thick woodland. So at all times of the year, we get deer here, either from the thick woodland coming out to feed uh, in the spring and in the summer, and living out in the um, in this beautiful area to my right, or in the deep winter, in the thickets, trying to keep warm, and then come into our feeders. So this is a, uh, a high seat box, doe box, um, and this is sighted to look out of an area of about 150 to 200 meters, and then back into the wood. And what I've done with the wood is, is we've put out feeders, and we're in the winter, from about end of November uh, through till March, we will feed wheat and beans as a mix in our feeders uh, and encourage the deer to come that. It helps them get through the winter, it provides us with uh, better uh, carcass weights, I'm pretty sure of that, and, um, and it also gives us opportunity to assess deer such as roebucks um, when they're out of season, uh, they're growing their antlers during the winter, and then not, not far to the left of it is, a, is an area, uh, a mineral lick, which has been probably been used there for about five or six years and you'll see the tracks that come to that uh, and how they use it almost as much as the, uh, the feed. Oh.